Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here sitting down and I thought about, hey, I've been doing my makeup routine differently lately, especially with my foundation, my contour, and my highlight. So I decided to show you guys and that's why I'm here today. And also I'm thinking about doing a talk through video, you know, instead of uh, the usual voiceover. So you guys would know that I am horrible at just talking just straight up. I think I spit. Talking straight out. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. I know this is very weird, um, so yeah. So right here, I usually prep myself with some NYX Matte Finish Fini Matte Spray. It's a setting spray. Um, I have combination of oily skin, so I usually just throw this on. Or sometimes I use the Smashbox, Smashbox Photo Finish. It's oil-free and it's silicone-based also. But right now, I'm just going to use my spray. And you have to make sure that it dries. I have a lot to tell you guys. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, then after that, if I really want my foundation to stick, like... <laughs> I don't know why I do that. Um, I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So I also spray that on top of my other spray, my matte finish. Okay. Next, I will be taking my corrector... Um, it's by Mally. You guys know, like, I love this stuff. This is Perfect Prep Under Eye Brightener, and it's the lighter color. Because I really have dark circles. So then it just looks like this, you know, just yellow to cancel out my dark circles. <laughs> so I usually just take a couple dots here and there, and then I would just pat it on so it will distribute it. And of course with my Beauty Blender. I just pat it in. Okay guys, I really need to talk to you guys. One thing, I apologize for not posting last week. I think I didn't post last week because I was actually really, really busy. busy. I was really busy in studying um, to take my state boards. You know, to be an esthetician and whatnot. Um, fortunately for me, <laughs> say hello to your new esthetician. I am so happy. I've never been so happy before and I can't believe it. Like, I can't believe I, I, I passed, like, whoa. So yeah, I just been studying a lot. Like, I did not sleep a lot. Okay, so next I will be using the Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline and it's the matte poreless kind, you know, oil-free, you know, just for oily skin like I. <laughs> so I'm just gonna shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. And I don't have a pump in it, so I just, do one of these dotting okay. okay so from here I usually just blend it out for my beauty blender nothing special and of course make sure you have a foundation down here so you can blend it all down so next I'll be using the fit me uh, concealers by Maybelline I just been loving Maybelline blah, blah. I just been loving Maybelline lately and these concealers are seriously so good like I use this much of the concealer I actually have to use two of them because I feel like the medium is too dark and then the light of course is too light so I just use them together um no actually the lighter one is called sand sable number 20 and then this is 25 medium I usually lay down the medium first because why not I don't know I just I just do I just do so I'm just gonna put this like almost like a triangle but I'm sloppy so it's not really exactly a triangle. So yeah, as you guys can see, I finally did my eyebrows. I know it's been such a long time I haven't done them because I'm just tired of the shape of my eyebrows. Like they're always straight and I feel like it just made me look, I don't know, dudish? I don't know. Um, I'm just happy I, I just redid my eyebrows. It has more of an arch. So I'm like really happy. It took me three months two to three months for them to grow back like so now I'm using the lighter color which is sand sable and I'm gonna put that over the medium so that it could brighten my face and I'm gonna put put it a little bit more lower than that of course up here because I just like to conceal the veininess of my eyelids then I put it over here under my nose here and my chin and of course, Beauty Blender. 
So if you guys would like to see how I grew out my eyebrows and the process of it, please give me a thumbs up to let me know if you want to see a video about my eyebrows or how to grow your eyebrows. I gotta say, I do so much better just talking to you guys than my voiceover. Is that weird? Do you think I should do this more? Give me another thumbs up or let me know down in the... Um, see what I mean let me know in the the comment bar comment the comment space I can't even think about it right now but yeah just definitely let me know if you want to now I don't know what I was gonna say <laughs> you guys know what I mean okay <laughs> okay now that I am a blank canvas I'm gonna set my concealer with makeup forever HD powder and for some reason I can't find it <laughs> where is it so it looks like this I have a little sample it's the HD high definition powder and it looks like cocaine in a pot. Look like this. I'm pretty much baking. Yeah. Okay, so I'll be taking a beauty sponge. Just cheap little thing I get, you know, at the Walmart or your local store, wherever that holds beauty supplies. So I'll take this and I'm gonna take a whole bunch of powder because, honey, we are baking. We're gonna look gorgeous under our concealer before I put the powder under my eye I would like to take the rest of the makeup out of my little fine lines I'm doing this because if I do set it in and I don't take the makeup out of my lines it'll just crease badly okay so I just heavily go everywhere where I put my concealer so I'm gonna do it again on the other side I make sure I pack this sponge beforehand so I could hurry up and put it under my eye after I smooth out the concealer under my fine lines or in my fine lines and wrinkles and I make sure I look up so it won't crease on me again and I'm putting this all over so around this time I usually prep my eyes and when I do that I use MAC Painterly and you guys know I love MAC Painterly it's perfect and it's a really pretty pink base pink paint pot and I usually use this as my primer. If I really want to lock in my eyeshadow, I use primer and then I use this and uh, put on my eyeshadow and then my eyebrows. But for this video, I'm just going to put my painterly on just to show you like the basics of the basic. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want this video to be quite long, but I feel like it's going to be long because it's already 17 minutes. Ah! So right after I usually do the eyeshadow, I do my brows. But I'm just going to skip the shadow and go to my brows. I am not going to go into depth with my eyebrows because I already have a video of my eyebrows. I'm just probably going to put it down below. So you should go check that out and see how I do my eyebrows. So right after I do my eyebrows, I usually take the bakingness out of my face. I'm, I know I'm going to look weird. So <laughs> bear with me. So I just sweep that out. And with the remaining of the product in my brush, I'm just gonna take that everywhere just to set everything else into the skin. You don't wanna waste product, that's all I gotta say. I love the City Color uh, Contour Kit. It's amazing. I love this palette and I told you guys many times before, I raved about it in my favorites video and I'm still raving about it now. So nothing is gonna change for now. I take a light dust, I don't know if you've seen that, I took a light dust of the contour color and I am going to put it where my cheekbones end right here. Another way to identify your cheekbones, I take the tip of the, the ear and I just diagonally put it down and that's exactly where your contour should be. I'm sorry that I flicked you off. See how pigmented that is? So I just take a little bit and I just chisel my cheeks. So that's what it will look like. Make sure it's darkest from here and gradually getting really light. Oh, right here. We don't want to go all the way over here. Like, unless you really wanted sculpted cheekbones, then you sculpt like all this right here. Just for now, just a regular everyday contour. I usually just contour like this. And see how there's more definition here than here? Like, yeah. <laughs> My contour's fleeking. 
So I do the same thing on the other side. You could just line it, you know, with your ear down, or you could just figure out where the hell your cheekbone is. And it, it's, it's the same thing, it's just diagonal. So I do the same thing. The darkest here. So right after I contour my cheekbones, I am gonna contour over here on top of the temples and then over my hairline because I have a big ass forehead <laughs> and I really want to make that so much smaller just by contouring. Of course to hide my double chin I am going to go under here and contour my jaw area especially like right here I'm more prominent right here so I just contour that part to soften that jawline up or down. I don't really do anything with my nose but when I do I just swiftly do something like this I don't do anything dramatic because I I like my nose oh that's a lot I like my nose and I like my shape of it I don't feel like I need to enhance it yeah when I do I just swiftly just put a little bit of shadow because I'm still gonna highlight up here so next I'll be taking my Milani blush uh, two blush actually. I'm um, taking first Romantic Rose, which looks like this. It's such a gorgeous color. It's a mauve, and I love mauves. <laughs> mauves are seriously my weakness. I love them so much. So I'm tapping the excess out and putting more. I don't know what I'm doing. And then I'll be taking the darker color just right on top of my contour. This almost reminds me of Gingerly from MAC which I love so much. So I'm taking, I've been really into blushes lately and I don't know why, maybe it's because of Milani, it's just amazing. So I am taking the darker blush and I'm putting it on top of the contour and then I will be taking the brighter one that's also Milani and this one is called Coral Cove and it's very corally. And I will be taking this with the same brush and I'll be putting it more towards the front of my face and kind of like onto the apples because why not this pretty much gives my cheek more dimension and I like that to put a little more color into my skin since I'm so matted and just one color I am also taking the rest of the color in the brush and I'm just gonna take it here here and that's pretty much it just a little bit here and here just putting more color back into my skin so after that is done I am going to highlight Where's my highlighter? Okay. So of course I always use Becca's Champagne Pop. Of course, Jacqueline Hill, I love her. And I'll be taking a stiff pencil brush, which I can't find right now. Okay. So here is my brush and it's just a stiff pencil brush. I mean, it's like whatever. And I will be putting this. I love... Hi, hi. I see you. Sorry. <laughs> I have ADD. So I take a good amount of highlighter. I usually don't tap it because I, I don't want to waste it. I just kind of tap it onto the high points of my face, like on top of my cheekbones. I just tap it like this so there won't be crazy fallout. And then I put a good amount on my nose, a little bit up here. So you can see, ugh, I love the shininess of my nose. Like, that's so weird. I like when my nose looks greasy. No, but I do like a lot of highlight here into my nose, make my nose look taller. And then I put more on top of my cheekbones. And ugh, I love this highlighter, I swear. I put on top of my Cupid's bow. So I'll have my lips looking more plump. I'll be taking it right here. And maybe a little bit up here, not a lot. Last but not least, I finish off with, again, my two setting sprays. And with these two setting sprays, I swear to God, these are my babies lately, my face never melts off or or flies off or cakes up. It doesn't. It, it just, I love it. And that completes my look. This is my updated 
face routine. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for bearing with me in this long freaking video. And please tell me down below if you do like these talk throughs or if you want me to go back to um, the voiceovers. And you guys, just, just contact me, okay? I'm here for you. And of course, make sure you subscribe, you like, and you comment down below on what you want to see next. Alrighty guys, thank you so much again. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope to see you soon.